I am speaking to you over the radio after a long time. There are many things that I should like to talk about as much has happened during this interval. But today I shall speak to you chiefly about our food situation. I should have preferred to do so after one or two weeks when perhaps I could have given you more facts. Our food minister is touring the states in order to discuss with the state ministers so that he can take personal stock of the situation and decide about the steps to be taken. He has not yet finished his survey of the situation. So, I cannot for the present talk to you in detail. However, since I had fixed tonight for my broadcast I kept to it though I will not be in a position to give you much new information today I should like to talk to you about our common problems it is very necessary that there should be a close understanding between the people of this great country and the government they have elected. For several years, we have had to face many difficulties in the matter of food. The last great war, the partition of India, natural disasters in the shape of floods and drought and the growing population created a heavy deficit of food in the country. Food is after all a primary necessity. If we fail in feeding our people well, we can make little progress in other directions. We had to import large quantities of wheat and rice at great expense. Even in recent months, we have had very difficult conditions in some parts of the country. Some districts have been particularly unfortunate. They had severe drought for some years continuously. We sent our army for relief work and from all accounts, they did a very good job of it indeed. Steps are being taken to reduce the prices of wheat and rice all over the country. This is the background of the food situation and it seems to be satisfactory. But we cannot afford to relax our vigilance. We have always to be prepared to meet any contingency. We have often been criticized for having a policy of controls. But we are convinced that any relaxation at this stage will certainly involve great risks. So we dare not risk another rise in prices because it will bring in misfortune. 
letter from Indian Overseas Bank 31 Lus Church Road Madras to Messrs Geeta Agencies Limited 20 Rayapeta High Road Madras DSS We have received your letter dated the 7th instant in which you have complained that your check dated the 3rd October 1981 for rupees 900 in favor of Mr Kumar was refused payment by us and returned to you unpaid with the usual endorsement we are very sorry for any inconvenience or trouble caused to you by our action but at the same time we have to point out to you that there was no other course open to us the check was dated 3 days prior to its presentation so it was possible for you to make a request to us for a temporary arrangement by way of a small overdraft we hope and trust that you will give your full consideration to our explanation assuring you of our best services us faithfully